My goals are simple. Step in the ring, look my opponent dead in the eye, and make them realize that they're in for a world of pain, that they're going to hurt, and if they want to beat me, they've got to overcome that pain that I plan on inflicting on every single one of them. The business is, the business, I mean, I didn't see, I didn't see that, uh, that Ricky would join the business, It'd probably do something with money, it seems like Chris True's thing. The business is just another, another few people that are in my path, though. If the business was a step in the ring with me, Every single one of them would run away, especially Chris True, and especially Jojo Bravo. So, as far as my outlook on the business, they're just another meat standing in front of me. Jalistico is the, the ACW Heavyweight Champion, and... As that champion, he's entitled to treat the belt however he wishes. But I think the way he treats that belt makes him a target. A target for anyone to step up because they think they can treat the belt better or they can do something better. I think Jalistico needs to watch his back. Not necessarily for me, but maybe for me. Not necessarily from Silver, but maybe from Silver. It could be anybody. Anybody at all. Um, essentially, it would be Lost Boys, the original. Uh, I was always a really big fan of David. David was a genius when it came to anything. He was a mastermind. In fact, it's said that David never died in the original movie and was was using Max as a distraction to get away from everything so he could survive. So I think out of every vampire, David from the Lost Boys was the best vampire I can think of. Um, as far as video games go, uh, I think... I play a lot of Skyrim, but I mean, it doesn't really inspire me in the ring. That's like a off-topic, like, it's there for me to play. But I think as far as inspiring, um, the God of War series did that. And not only God of War series, Dante's Inferno, the game, uh, it was pretty well It was pretty well done, too. And uh, the Manhunt series from Rockstar, that, that one was a really solid influence in the way I think. As far as books or other media is concerned, uh, the Interview with the Vampire series, of course, uh, Louis, Louis and Lestat, both of them, they, they're really very interesting creatures. And I think as far as movies would go, Pulp Fiction and, and Reservoir Dogs, uh, Mr. Blonde, of, of all people, just... Mr. Blonde, that that would be pretty much what I can I can say besides the obvious. Oh, hey, look, Lost Boys. People like like Jeffrey Dahmer, the BTK killer, any serial killer. I have researched almost every serial killer there is out there. Their their mind, their the how their mind works, the schizophrenic tendencies they all have how they have no remorse when they hurt, when they kill, when they make someone suffer. It, it's intriguing and it's extremely interesting that a person can have no remorse yet in front of people can act so normally and some people can't even realize it's the same person.